Hey kids, welcome. Happy Easter. I know we're getting close. It's almost Easter. I am so excited. Uh, we have a really neat thing that we're going to make here. It's a, it's a baking thing. It's kind of like a little baking experiment. It's called empty tomb crescent rolls. And Miss Ashley is going to show us how to make them, right? Yeah, let's get started. Okay, let's go over all the ingredients first. We will need crescent rolls, some melted butter, marshmallows for how many you want to make, um, some cinnamon and sugar mixed together. Um, I already have my uh, grand rolls already uh, laid out. You're also going to need a muffin pan, not a baking sheet this time, which is already sprayed with our vegetable oil spray. Awesome. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're gonna, you're gonna start off with is all these already rolled out, and you're gonna start off with a marshmallow. And you're gonna roll it in the butter all over. You want it fully coated. Then you're gonna roll it in the cinnamon and sugar. Mm. You will get messy with this one. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> oh, you want it nice and coated. You really want that flavor in there. Then you're gonna put it on one of these, and you're gonna just fully coat it. There. And then you're gonna fully cover it. You don't want any gaps in here. To make sure it's sealed really good, right? Mm-hmm. Don't want that marshmallow to be showing at all. You want it nice and tucked away. Nice and rolled up. There we go. That looks so cool. We'll take a little bit. I'm gonna roll it up too, just to double make sure. And that should be good. You're gonna put just a little bit of it in the butter. Cinnamon for more flavor. And that's Ooh, how you do that. Nice. You're gonna put it in one of these. Now let's do the rest. And while you're doing the rest, can I can I talk about why they're called empty tomb crescent rolls? Of course. Okay, so you keep doing what you're doing, and I'm just gonna kind of explain a little bit. So the reason that these are called empty tomb crescent rolls is that each part of them they represent something. So what we have right here is we have the marshmallows. Now, I don't know why you kids, but I love marshmallows. They are, they are sweet, they're, they're yummy, they're a nice treat. But in this case, the, rep, the marshmallow represents Jesus. Now, if you know Jesus, he came to the earth. You know, he came, you know, he came in as a baby, he grew up, and he ended up dying on the cross for our sins. But Jesus didn't sin. He did not want sin at all. He was pure. He was clean. That's why the marshmallow represents him because it's white. It's pure and it's clean because Jesus never once sinned. He didn't sin at all. When he died on the cross, he died for our sins. That's what he did. And so that's why the marshmallow, it represents Jesus. And as you can see, you know, Ashley right here, she's dipping it in the butter and she's dipping it in the cinnamon and sugar. And those represent, you know, what happened after somebody died is that they would take their bodies and they would coat them in, in oils and they would put spices on them, you know, to preserve the body. And so remember Jesus, the reason we celebrate Easter is because of what Jesus did for you and me kids. See Jesus, what he did is he died on the cross for you and me. Remember, he did no wrong. He didn't, he didn't do anything. He didn't deserve to be on that cross and die, but he did it because of how much he loves you and me. And so after he was on the cross and he died, they, they took his body and they would use the, the oils and they would use the spices and they would, you know, take care of the body. And so that's what the butter and the, the cinnamon sugar represent. Now, as you can see, Ashley, she's got it and she's putting it in the crescent roll. She's making sure that she's uh, putting it in there nice and good so that it's, you know, no cracks or anything. And so the crescent roll, what that represents is the tomb or the grave that they put Jesus's body in. Now, I don't know if you know, but if the, the, the tomb that they had was this big, like a rock in the, it was like a big rock thing, and they had like a, a room in it. It was like an open rock, and they would put the body in there, and they rolled a big, huge stone in front of it. And so the crescent rolls that she's um, putting the, the marshmallow in, it, it represents the tomb that Jesus was putting, because they put him in this tomb and rolled a huge, huge, heavy boulder in front of the tomb. Now, the reason they did that is they didn't want anybody to steal Jesus's body because remember, people were saying that Jesus was the Messiah and we know that he, wa that he was, that he is the Messiah. And so they wanted to make sure that nobody could move that stone away and they couldn't. That stone, that was a heavy, heavy stone. And so that's what the crescent roll, that's what it represents there is Jesus's body being put inside the tomb there. 
And so you're doing a great job with this. Well, thank you. And they look, they look so good. <laughs> and so what you're gonna see that's gonna be kind of neat is you're probably wondering, okay, well, they're called empty tomb crescent rolls. Well, what exactly, you know, why are they called empty tomb? Because you're putting Jesus in there. I see the marshmallow in there. I see Miss Ashley. She's, yeah, she's coating the marshmallow. She's put it in the crescent roll. What do, what do you mean empty tomb? Well, you guys are going to have to wait for that part. Because remember, when Jesus died, he, he stayed in the tomb for how many days? Three days. He was in the tomb for three days. And so in a few minutes, we're going to bake these crescent rolls. And that's going to represent the three days that he was in the tomb. And so after they're done baking, we're going to open them up to a, a little surprise. And you're going to see why they're called the empty tomb crescent rolls. That's actually, that's really cool. You're doing so good. <laughs> did you, did you, have you heard about these before, Ashley? I have never heard of these. No? No. I have, honestly, this is the first time making them. I've heard of them. I have never made them. So kids, if you guys, if you're able to make them maybe this week before Easter, I mean, really simple, you know, ingredients, crescent rolls, melted butter, cinnamon sugar, and marshmallows. And it's kind of a cool thing to make. And then, you know, if you have any guests coming over for Easter, you can tell them the story. Use this as a story. Say, Jesus is the marshmallow and talk about the, the oils and the spices and then the tomb, you know, that the crescent roll represents. And the best part, is when they're all baked and the surprise that, the, that you'll see inside. And we're gonna get to that soon. We're definitely gonna get to that soon. So I'm excited for that. All right, so you have one more to do, right? And then we're gonna pop it in the oven there? Yep. And so how long does this have to cook in the oven? Uh, this will be baking for 13 to 15 minutes. 13, and how high do we set the oven at? Three, uh, 375 degrees. All right. I'm excited. They look so yummy. They look really good. You might need to work them a few times. This one's being hard with closing up. <laughs> yeah, because you have to make sure it's sealed just like the tomb was sealed, right? Yep, don't want any way that that marshmallow will come out. That's right. That's right. See, it's good. Awesome, now see oh, that was There easy we go. Enough. We have all them ready to go into the oven. See, and that's easy enough for anybody to make. So that's awesome. All right, why don't we go ahead and pop them in the oven and we'll check back when they are done. Yep. Hey, they're done, they're out of the oven, they're kind of cooled. Uh, you don't want them completely cool. You want to eat them warm. And uh, yeah, let's see if, how it came out. That is amazing. Now, now if you kids remember, there was a marshmallow in there. Did you see the marshmallow? There is no marshmallow. There is no marshmallow left in that. That is why it's called the empty tomb crescent rolls. Because if you remember what the marshmallow represented, it represented Jesus. And remember, we said that it was gonna bake, which was like when it was in the tomb for three days. Well, after three days, what happened to Jesus after three days? He rose again. He rose again. He was no longer in that tomb. So when you make these empty tomb crescent rolls, you can use this as an example. Look, Jesus isn't there anymore. He's gone because he's alive. He's last. This is kind of a cool thing to make, isn't it? Yeah. Which, by the way, oh, it smells so good. Mm. It smells, oh yeah, yeah, you enjoy that. You enjoy, mm, that looks good. Is it mm. good? That's really good. Oh, it looks, mm. it smells so good. Well, kids, that's something fun that you guys can do at home, and it means something, so that's, that's kind of neat. Well, you guys have a happy Easter. Hello, kids. You just saw our recent video. Awesome to have you. Well, I just wanted to let you know, if you can kick that like button and smash the su su subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next video.